Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to On Living Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monday. And before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone, so we all know that Nicki Minaj has been very busy. She released the number one single, Super Freaky Girl, and she also received the Video Vanguard Award at this year's VMAs. Now, even though Nicki Minaj has been feeding the barb, she did announce that she has more surprises coming out down the road on Twitter. She let it be known that she is checking things off of her checklist and that there is still a big finale to come and I really hope and think it's going to be the documentary. I'm going to be salty if it's not because she did preview a trailer a few months ago. Now, Nicki Minaj also announced that she will have to cancel her performance that was scheduled at the iHeart Music Festival, but she will be performing at Rolling Loud this year in New York, and she is very excited to be doing it in her hometown. Now, it seems like Nicki is just full of surprises right now because she did announce that she will be releasing a Queen's remix to her single, Super Freaky Girl, and it also seems like there will be other artists that will be featured on this single because Nicki Minaj is shouting out other states. She shouted out Boston, New York, Atlanta, Miami, and also Chicago. Now, Nicki Minaj did preview the song on her Instagram page. I can't play it here because of copyright reasons. I am not trying to get my coin snatched. So if you do want to hear the song, it is still up on her Instagram page. I advise you to go check it out because off the rip, Nikki starts naming states. And it does seem like there will be a part two because Nicki Minaj did say this is only part one. So I feel like Nicki Minaj has a lot up her sleeve right now. I feel like Nicki is going to put out the documentary before the year is over. I am going to keep hope alive, child. And I also feel like there are going to be a few surprises on the Queen's remix. And a lot of people are saying that JT will be featured on this song because Nicki Minaj and JT did make up after there was some shade on JT's end that was thrown at Nicki Minaj, but they resolved it. And JT is the better rapper of the City Girls. So I would rather have JT be on the song than Young Miami. I refuse to have Young Miami get on a song with Nicki Minaj and ruin it. I refuse. She is not about to get on a song being offbeat and not sticking to subject matter and talking about wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. No, I don't want to hear it. I can take JT. I will take Amaretta, a Lakia, a Flo Millie, a Dochi. I will even take Akbar over Young Miami getting on the track with the queen of rap and ruining the whole song. Carisha, please, you can keep that. But you let me know how you feel about everything down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video. And until next time, bye.